Jim, thank you. More than 150 workers tonight now gone from Houston Methodist, either fired or they resigned over COVID-19 vaccine requirements. And Fox 26's Tiffany Justice found that they are still planning to fight this. She's live in the medical center with what is next in this legal battle, Tiffany. Out of the initial 178, 25 decided to get the shot and are still currently employed. A lawsuit has been filed and they tell us they're ready to fight. June 7th, hard deadline out of the 178 initially suspended from Houston Methodist, 25 decided to go ahead and take the COVID-19 shot. The rest of us all stayed on board. We got terminated today. Leaving 153 resigning or terminated during the two week suspension period. But Jennifer Bridges saying the number is even higher. A lot of people resigned. Some resigned weeks ago, some resigned like just a couple days before the deadline. We had a lot of physicians resign ahead of time, and now a lot of them are stuck in the same boat we are too because they didn't want to take the shot. A spokesperson with Houston and Methodist confirming to Fox 26 saying the employees who became compliant during the suspension period returned to work the day after they became compliant. A lawsuit against the hospital is already going through the court system. A U.S. district judge tossed out the lawsuit, but Jennifer tells Fox 26 they plan on appealing and have filed in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. The people on our lawsuit are not just Methodist employees. I mean, we have all kinds of Methodist employees on board, like every walks of life that works at the hospital. We also have um, police officers that do security there. We have physicians, we have vendors. We have a lot of different people on this lawsuit. We're going to wait and see what the court says. Jared Woodfield, attorney representing these now former employees, expects the case to reach the Texas Supreme Court. First, I want to ask you, what made you want to do this? Um, and what, how has the process been? Definitely don't regret it at all. Um, we're actually growing and getting so much stronger every single day. People need to understand you know, the proper risk factors and get proper informed consent instead of being lied to. Jennifer tells us that she has a new job. In fact, just started today. She says many of her colleagues also have a new job or are currently interviewing. She also mentioned that there will be another protest this Saturday at the downtown location. Reporting live, Tiffany Justice, Fox 26 News.